We're not sure what got Bryn started writing. Let's hear another a beautiful song. Okay. We just know she started. Yeah, I don't know. It's always been a part of my life. A beautiful song. And I'm not really sure why. A more song, please. Oh, mommy. I couldn't write when I was young, uh, so I went to my mom with all my stories. And she'd just come. She'd come to her to her mom and say, "Mom, I need you to write down what the book says." And she didn't know what 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 what's that. She said, "I wrote a book. I need you to write in what it says," because she couldn't write. This was a Valentine's story. I won't I won't read it, but you'll love the cover. It's not uh, Valentine's Day by Bryn Callahan. It's Love's Days by Bryn Callahan. <laughs> Storytelling definitely originated with songwriting and music. I never heard you play the piano. I think I always felt kind of strange, um, like a little bit like an alien. The songwriting um, in particular it gave me an outlet for expressing things that I wasn't sure how else to express. So it was a way of storytelling that made sense to me and I feel like it made sense to other people. We'd find her sitting in her room, uh, you know, bent over, well, like this, she's a lefty. I'm definitely drawn to like the brevity and the compression of, of lyrics and poetry. She wrote stories, she drew picture books, she wrote music, uh, poetry at a very, very early age. I think compression just in general lends itself to feelings that are generalizable even if the literal experience is not so it um, almost forces you to find that thing that resonates for everyone awesome falls when you go i can say that you were a dream being able to find the thing that really matters in the story and communicate that on the page in a song, that became a language for me. That became my way of making sense in a world that I just didn't feel like I made sense in. And our dreams are for sleeping. They're never for us to keep. Songwriting for me became a language. It became the way that I connected with people. And I was able to connect with people through songwriting in a, in a, to a degree that I was not familiar with and hadn't experienced before. Finding the guitar and getting into her music, well, that was my father. I never met my grandfather, um, but he, was a songwriter. He was a music teacher and um, composer himself, performer. Um, yeah, that's not a coincidence. So even though, even not having met him, that's still in me. The stories that she'd love to tell long before she could even uh, write, uh, she, was, she would illustrate and ask me to put the words to paper. And we were always very impressed. Um, by the sophistication of the story. And her poetry was the same way. But I say cigarette ashes and bottles like pieces of you. In workshop, I wrote about losing someone in my life to suicide. I haven't been able to write about it in a narrative way until now or start trying to write about it. The songwriting telling of the story came first to me, and usually that's how it works. We were lost, crazy dreamers, and now I'm lost and confused. He had written me a poem, and in it he referred to me as Shaking Beauty, so I wrote a song called Shaking Beauty. You said I was your Shaking beauty, clear as snow. And 
that was my way of getting out into the world that story for me when I needed it to be shared. You said my heart's ever yours if you promise to never let it go. And that's just, I feel like, an example of how songwriting lends itself to telling hard stories. I feel like it's hard to dismiss the fact that uh, her dad wrote me a poem. Uh, the poetry was, was startling sometimes, far, far ahead of her time. Her spelling wasn't always of the first order. He didn't mention that, but he'd write me a poem for every special holiday, whether it was Valentine's Day or uh, Mother's Day, our anniversary and Christmas, and our two girls, they watched that, and um, they watched the effect it had on me, and that made an impression. Just always surprising how, how much of a grasp she had of the language and the conceptual attitude of the language, too. Bryn was, uh, that, oh, that's Bryn, uh, actually right above me with her sister, Lindsay. Uh, Bryn's dad managed the Westchester Broadway Theater, and there were many times where I dropped the girls off because I had to be to my job, and they'd sit and watch rehearsals. They were all musical theater productions, and I imagine that they were very inspirational. My parents failed to mention this, but they met doing musical theater themselves. So my dad managed the Westchester Broadway Theater. He also met my mom there, and for years and years they toured doing musical theater productions. I don't know, you can't like, you can't extract that like energy or that draw towards a, like a performative storytelling, um, that makes sense. Said you promise forever if you thought you could ever pull through. She had her mom uh, write out a, a story for her, help her with a story. One time she sat in front of a fireplace, a house up in Vermont where the flames were dancing and the flames almost looked like they jump out at you sometimes. So she wrote this story from out of nowhere about, I think she called it the fire creatures or something. And my wife and I were sort of like, you know, when we were looking at this story. She was nine, and this was her Christmas gift to me. A little angel watching from above gives a little helpful wishing dove, a tiny bird so soft and sweet, grants your wish in a single tweet. Although the tweet is a silent one, its voice too soft to hear, it always brings a lot of joy that lasts throughout the year. A little gift from your little friend that lives within the sky with wings of joy that have flown him to you to give you something that will never die. A little bird filled with love so fine and a warming heart that always shines. A gift from your guardian, a gift from me, a gift to you, a gift to thee. Look at what you do. So I could take this very unique, specific, memory or experience that's entirely mine, but I can present it in a way, in a song, that where it resonates. Did you mean it? Oh, did he mean it? Yeah. They can listen to the story and find the piece of it that is universal and that makes a difference. Oh, did he mean it? Storytelling has not only been for me about, it's not only my way of having a language, it's also my way of making an impact. And she even uh, attached a little origami, what how do you pronounce it? So we don't know where she got it. Origami, <laughs> origami bird that she colored. 
uh, but we didn't have anything to do with it. Both my parents are underemphasizing the role that they had. And I just love it. I love it so much. That was just her. Play a song. Play a song. Okay. You gotta play a little bit more.